for the two for the game. About a yard and a half that they have to have or it's ball game over. Plumnik deflected and incomplete. Florida State wins at Clemson. They beat the Tigers for the first time since 2014. The return to Providence continues in a big way for Mike Norvell and Florida State. They are back, aren't they, Molly McGrath? Coach, you just had a big sigh of relief in a game where you never led in regulation. What did you learn about your team, specifically your defense, with that uh, final stand? What a response. And, you know, we talk about that all the time. These guys have incredible heart. You know, they played. I told them it was going to take 60 minutes. And then going in overtime, it took a few more. But uh, just love, love what I saw from our guys. Never panicked. Just continue to play. There was, a, there was some, you know, obviously some ugly moments. But, you know, they just continued to fight and did what they needed to do to get the win. Speaking of heart, Jordan Travis pressured a lot in the first half. What kind of guts did you see from your quarterback down the stretch? Well, I mean, he's a winner, and uh, you know, he's just such a great leader for this team. Uh, the way our guys compete, the way that they continue to push, I mean, this is this has been a hard-earned win, something we've been working for for four years, and uh, just so proud to see our, time, our, our team come on the road, be able to get it done in a hostile environment. You said that Clemson is the benchmark program in the ACC. You just beat them. What does that say about what you are building here at Florida State? Uh, we're going to continue on our climb every day, just try to get better, try to capitalize the moments we get. I mean, these players, I mean, they work their tails off. Um, we got great guys. We got the right fit, right? And now it's just time to continue to take those positive steps to where we're going. All right. Thank you, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thanks so much. And go Knowles.